What's up YouTube, it's your boy Stan here, and welcome back to another Pixelmon Generations video here on the Poke Mayhem Network. And of course, we're still on course to completing the Neo Server story. And to do that, we have to defeat the gym leader here at Outback. But it looks like today, I kinda really didn't want to do it, but it looks like it's gonna have to happen. Today is the day that we're going to replace someone on the team. And you guys may be wondering, we have our six Pokemon here. We have Tyranitar, which is our Mega Pokemon. We have Greninja. We have, uh, which is a starter Pokemon, Gardevoir. Sceptile, another starter Pokemon we have. Raikou, and Rayquaza. Unfortunately, though, you may have been a great first legendary encounter. Kind of random out of nowhere. But I'm sorry right now, Raikou. You just do not cut it. I'm so sorry. But we're going to have to get rid of Raikou. Of course, we're just going to put him in the PC and choose a different Pokemon. But uh, I was talking about fire advantages and how I really don't have a fire advantage. Actually, let's put Raikou in box number 10. And I, I kind of really don't have any fire advantage, but we do have a nice little shiny Larvesta, which is a fire bug Pokemon, which will have a little bit of coverage on psychic type Pokemon. So, welcome to the team, Larvesta! Yeah! I, I You know, people are probably questioning it. It's a good Pokemon. I think it's a really great Pokemon, actually. And now uh, we're just gonna spam um, Rick Hammies now until it gets pretty much to the levels that the rest of the team is at. And I think it evolves like at level 69 or something like that. Wait, is it at 69? That'd be amazing if it's at 69. I don't think it is. I don't think it is, but it, it would really, really be amazing if it's at level 69. Come on, come on. Let me know. Bug bite. Yeah, over string shot easily. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, or is it 59? Is it 59? Is it 69? They're missing something if it's not 69. Oh, it's 59. Oh, the tease, guys. The tease. It would have been so good if it was at 69. It would have been really, really funny. But no, no. We're... We're... Uh... Oh, wait. We can move this round. Yeah, look at that. A Volcarona. Let's go, baby. 59, 60. Heat Wave over Flame Charge. Sure. Um, oh, I was like, dude, am I out of Rare Candies? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. 62. We have to match up to 73, right? Um, Bug Buzz over Bug... Oh, oh. Over Bug Bite. Yes. 73. Here we go. Here's a Volcarona. Actually, we can probably just spam the rest of our rare candies to just kind of like level up all our Pokemon. I, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to spend the rest of these rare candies and try to balance out the team a little bit more with leveling and get them closer to level 100 and stuff like that. I really do like my Pokemon. You may not even need your Pokemon at level 100. I really do enjoy my Pokemon at level 100. So that's what we're going to do. I don't want to bore you with that though because, you know, it takes a while. And then it looks like off stream we're going to EV train our Sceptile and a Volcarona because those are two Pokemon we need to EV, uh, EV train to make sure that they have uh, pretty much their EVs trained. Yeah, you guys understand all that technical stuff. But uh, we'll see you guys in a bit once we're re getting ready to challenge the gym leader. Volcarona and Sceptile are now EV trained. Well, okay, so Volcarona is perfectly EV trained where Sceptile uh, <coughs> for the most part is, but... Uh, he's not entirely properly trained, but they are both ready for battle. So let's read uh, this book, the story 6.1, to see exactly where our story takes us next. So, you found out where the hidden hideout, which was last episode, and without fear you drove out Team Magma uh, present in Outback. You took him out, you got rid of him on your own. Oh, Groudon just spawned, a Desert Hills bomb. What are the chances this kind of counts as, I mean, this is the Mesa, it's, it's, a, it's a Mesa biome, but... What are the chances of Groudon? Like, I, I, there's a, there's usually a, a desert connected to the Mesa, right? That's usually how this works, I think. All right, so that Groudon wasn't on us. I mean, we were in the Mesa Hills or the Mesa biome like we are right now. Kind of knew it wasn't gonna be here, but it would have been pretty cool if it was like in the nearby like surrounding areas, and I could have attempted to catch it because I, mean, I do have this Master Ball that I'm sitting on. But regardless, back to what we're doing. We're here to challenge the gym leader, which is at the tra train station, or it's at in the train actually, from our understanding, right? Uh, Offer Gen Officer Jenny thanks you for your heroic deeds and says she'll take it from here. Apparently, after hearing the news of our deeds, 
the Outback gym leader is looking to meet you and would like to have a battle before he takes his trip to Altaria. Catch the gym leader and defeat him before he leaves town. And I believe Officer Jenny is the one that told us it was in the train. So, oh, that's cool. So I'm assuming the gym leader is back there, but we have more, like, battles to go through. I'm okay with that. That sounds actually really fun. I think it's going to help. And I, I'm I, I'm pretty sure you guys assume, or see this already, but all my Pokemon are now at level 81. So we're getting there. Oh, it caps it. It's one of those battles. Jesus. How many Pokemon can I, can I have? Um... We could have five. Oh, he has ghost type Pokemon. Oh, that helps a lot. Um, like that. No, like that. Yeah, that, that that's a good. I, I forgot when you when you battle these tri type of trainers that level cap you, you get to see their team and stuff like that. So Mega Evolve and then oh, I don't have anything here, but a Sableye. I could probably Earthquake. And of course, Tyranitar still does this problem where I can't really change anything. That's fine. That is fine. Shadow Sneak did literally nothing. Earthquake got him halfway down. Easy. It's easy trainers. So we're going to go through all these trainers and try to make it through this place as quick as possible. Does Haunter have Levitate? Mm, yes, yes, it does. Okay. That's good to know. Uh, Stone Edge. Why not? Yeah. That's a Weezing here. Does Weezing have Levitate? Yes, it does. That's good to know. That is good to know. A stone Edge. There we go. He went out. Arbok. Okay, we can take you out with... Oh, he avoided it? Oh, it's because uh, he used Smokescreen, didn't he? Ooh, a Golurk. This has to have Levitate, right? What is this? Is this a Rock Ghost type? Does it have Levitate? Um, it doesn't, but it really didn't do anything. So stone Edge. That's completely fine. We have ourselves a uh, Sceptile. Sceptile can get uh, rid of things with Giga Drain. Easy peasy. So, P heal and then move on to the next battle. So, I don't, I'm not going to bore you guys. Or should I bore you guys? That's one, two. Um, so, so far, two trainers. Um, three... And then four. Okay, no, I'll show you guys this. I have no problem at all showing you guys this. This seems like pretty fun. Oh, Don just chilling. All these characters are Pokemon anime characters. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So what's who's next? Um, Brock is right. Yeah, he is. Let's get started. Wait, why can't? I... There we go. Sure. Uh, coughing Venipede. Oh, I'm assuming this is going to be a poison type gym. So we're going to send out Gardevoir first, actually. Why not? Actually, get rid of Sceptile and put in. Yeah! Oh, it's a poison type gym. That's good to know. That is good to know. We could just spam Psychic the whole way through. The only thing with these trainers is I don't get any XP. That's the sad part. But regardless, though, that's... It's still pretty cool. So if er memory ser serves correct, it's going to be poison time gems. Yeah, or ghost. Maybe a mix of both? Could be a mix of both, right? Seems like it. Okay. Like that. Uh, Night Slash. How did... <coughs> Excuse me. How did it survive? Smackdown. Huh, that's weird that it survived like that. Smack down one more time. Night Slash one more time. There we go. Everything's going according to plan. Night Slash on the Banette. This should be an easy gym, actually. It seems very, very easy the way that everything's working out. Shuppip. Easy. Easy. Oh. Oh. Oh, baby. So it's going to be a mix of ghost and uh, poison types, right? Seems like it. We won the battle. We won $1,500. Dude, I kind of I kind of spent my money right now. So it, it kind of helps. Wait, did I just try to pee heal and it didn't work? No. Okay, cool. I kind of spent a lot of my money. Let's talk to you. Can I not talk to you? No? Can I talk to you guys? Huh. 
Can I talk to you? I can't talk to these characters. Hmm. Here's Tracy. He's Whitney. Some of these characters are recognizable. And then here's this trainer right here. Um, I want I want some space between us. There we go. Send out Tyranitar first. 58 cap. Uh, Bennett, Crobat, Drapion, Sableye, and Ariados. So I'm going to start off with Tyranitar here, here, and here. I'm, my team's looking pretty decent. I, I can't say nothing about it. Earthquake. Oh, why does Tyranitar always do this? Maybe I should start engaging in battles in like F5 mode. Right? That would that would kind of help the situation that I'm having. Where I can't change the... Uh, the way that like, you can zoom into the battles and stuff like that. Did Earthquake do nothing? Oh, man. I feel bad for that Drapion. So Sableye back in. Did my... Did, Earthquake, did it do nothing to Sableye? Oh, no. It did. Okay. I guess I just missed the first time. Here we go. Oh, I can't do anything to Crobat. But I can stone... Oh, man. I'm confused. No, I can stone edge you. Oh, he avoided it. I got... Oh, it's so annoying. He avoided it twice. Literally, this guy is just playing confused right on me. But I hit the stone edge, which is really good. Now, Bonnet. Um, I guess I'm going to stone edge again. Easy. Everything's looking so easy with these guys. Ariados, Earthquake. I've never had an easy like path to a gym leader like this before. Before and before the gym leader just destroys us and demolishes us. Uh, Ariados, Ariados, I can send in Guard of War and just psychic. Oh damn, Sucker Punch is crazy good. P heal, and we're about to get into the gym leader. Oh, this is totally this is totally a ghost type gym. Totally a ghost type gym. Gengar, okay. Mega Evolve, and then, uh... Let's try to sneak in a Dragon Dance. Let's try to sneak this in. I think I can do it. I think I can do it. Hit me with the Nightshade, dude? That's crazy. Stone Edge. Oh, so good! A Muck. Earthquake on the Muck. Oh my god! Tyranitar is just gonna sweep the team, isn't it? A Needle King now? Earthquake on this guy, too. Easy gym leader! What did I say? Stone Edge on the Venomoth. Oh, one Pokemon left. Chandelure, Stone Edge one more time. Oh, he missed it. No. No, no, no. Please, clean sweep. Clean sweep. No. No. Or right, one last chance. One last chance. There we go, baby. A Dust Noir. I, I can't. Oh, it still did so much damage. Easy gym. Easy, Jim. Outback, you went down. Easy, baby. Oh, so good. So good. All right, so click after defeating the gym. Oh, where do we go? What is this? Train now leaving for Altaria. Please take your seats. You were warped to the warp Altaria. Welcome to Altaria. We recommend visiting the gift shops. The stance has beaten the Outback gym. Dude, that's dope. And then we got Dazzling Gleam off of that. So let's just go ahead and get this warp real quick. Oh, this is dope. I might as well heal our Pokemon. Now I, I... Wait. What do I do here? Do I visit the gift shops? Is that what I do next? Because I don't have a clear path of what to do next. I really don't. Let's actually walk around. This place looks really nice. I like the build designs. And then they're, they're not actually doors. You can like just walk through that. That's pretty cool. Let's talk to you. Hi, nice to meet you. I just moved here from Vestra. Hope I will make friends fast. If you ever want to see Vestra, it's just uh, up here. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's check out all the different builds and see if we can find anything relevant to what we're supposed to do next. This is a build, big build, so I kind of assume that this will help our situation. Did you know there is a place in this town that you can change the Pokeball you caught your Pokemon with? Well, there is. Really check that out. Really? I thought you could only do that with Pokeball or Poke Builder. That's pretty cool. People say that you can't revive fossils, that science doesn't work that way. What do you know about science? One day I'll show them. Yeah, dude, you do you. You do you, booty. Oh, this is pretty cool. This is a nice build. This is a really nice build. Do I have anything over here that I can check out? Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, cool. Uh, continuing on our uh, buildings check. Uh, that's actually the building I was just in. 
Is this the building where I can switch my Pokeball? Because that'd be pretty cool. There's a person right here. Let's talk to this person. Weeks ago, one of my Pokemon used Rock Slide while I was climbing the slope. I, I traded him away. I wonder if I should have just let him free back in Solid. Um, can you go visit him and see if this, his new trainer is good to him? Sell it. So, oh. Okay. Ooh, what is this? Talk to the NPC to pick up your cargo. What cargo, though? I don't want to continue with the story if, if I don't know what I'm doing. Right? You know what I mean, guys? You know what I mean? That's pretty cool. What's next over here? Oh, this place looks a little confusing. This one in particular looks a little confusing. Oh, there's someone out here. Uh, Y'all should go to the countryside sometime. Bring some good countryside air. My favorite place is Nebelham. It's 3,000 meters west of here. Go check it out. I'll keep that in mind. I didn't really like that place. That place gave me trouble. A lot of trouble. Uh, there's nothing up here. Kind of seems like a pointless staircase. So we're literally going around a whole circle, heading our way back to the Pokemon Center. Well, what is this? Uh, talk with gift shop keeper. Oh, okay, cool. Because that, that's what it wanted us to do, is talk to the gift shop. So we'll talk to them right now. So this is the gift shop. Let's just actually talk to the people themselves, though. I knew you'd come to speak to me. If you're looking for Trash Hall, you'll still have a way to go. It's southeast of here. It's a huge Mega Mart. I need to head there myself. Oh, that's cool. Where else? What else? Talk to NPC to pick up your cargo. I'm assuming it has to do with this, right? This story? It might. Let's check the other building. It'll be our last building. And then uh, we'll, we'll start our quest here in Altaria. Um, well, it's really disappointing. There's nothing here. All right, guys. So I'm actually going to have to call it an episode right there. And the only reason behind... uh, Well, reasoning behind me calling it an episode is... uh. I kind of recorded a lot, and I felt like I didn't record a lot. And then it turns out that I have two, what could be considered two 30-minute videos. And yeah, I, I couldn't have that all in one video. I can't give you guys an hour of content. You guys are never going to watch that. So I decided to split it up, uh, two episodes, of course, giving you all the, uh, I guess, the decent information that you want out of an episode. So without further ado, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Reminder, make sure to use my code STANS10, S-T-A-N-Z-Z-1-0. Gets you 10% off of the web store. And make sure that you save 10% every time you purchase something off of them. And then, guys, I, you know, let me know what you think about these episodes. You know, It looks like I'm more than halfway done. Um, if anything looks uh, pretty much like what I would think would look like in a Pokemon game would be eight badges and we have five so we're almost to what I think is completion so I'm looking forward to it we're almost there guys we're almost there so hopefully you guys are enjoying guys thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later peace <laughs>